Howdy folks, it's John um, on the Jersey Shore. Um, I just wanted to uh, uh, give you a shout out. Um, not too happy with my choice of the uh, wind solar hybrid controller. Um, in my opinion, it doesn't seem to work right. Um, it, uh, I never see any, it never charges the batteries, in other words. Um, so uh, I'm going to open it up and kind of show you what's inside and I think I know why it doesn't do what it should do. Um, don't get me wrong, I like the concept of it. Um, it's got the dump load and all that stuff inside of it. Um, it's just, I don't think the circuitry is set up for what you'd want it to do. So uh, hang on a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, and uh, this is the inside of the controller. Um, this is where I think that the problem is. The, your uh, while the AC goes into here from the turbines into this rectifier, and then usually this this would go to the neutral of the battery. This would go to the hot of the battery, um, like. For example, this is the rectifier that I purchased to replace that one because it just looks a little odd to me. Um, like, what's what's this bar for? So basically, you're getting power. It's going across this bar and is going right to the diversion uh, resistors. That's that's how I'm seeing it. So I don't understand. Um, so, in other words, there's my turbine, uh, I got it 30 feet, um, I didn't, um, show you that I put guy, guy wires on there and, and extra bracing to hold it in, but, yeah, I had it at, um, 20 feet, and then I added an extra 30 foot piece of pipe to it. And um, we get some pretty decent winds, and uh, um, not nothing from the nor'eastern end because this tree kind of blocks all that um, wind. I might have to do some trimming on that tree, but it is my neighbor's tree, so I don't know. Um, but we get southwest western winds and and whatnot, and it and it does go. I see it. It's it's making noise as it's going. It's it goes pretty fast. So I come running into here looking at this thing and it shows nothing. It shows nothing but a, a little propeller going this way and this way and this way on the display but it, it shows nothing. It shows nothing as far as charging batteries. It shows nothing as far as making any kind of wattage or anything like that. So I don't know. I'm thinking it's just rectifier. It's a little goofy looking to me. Uh, I probably could have got away with just keeping this half of it, but I don't know what's going on with it. So I'm going to pop in a new one, rewire everything, gut this whole thing out. I'll leave the resistors here. Um, I'll work on some way of rewiring the fans to get them to go. They're 12 volt computer fans, so I'll figure something out to get those to go. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to rework everything. Howdy, folks. It's uh, John again. Um, it's Friday night, and I just completed my uh, conversion over from that uh, other junk that was in here. Um, to uh, my new little setup here. Got the new uh, rectifier in. Um, the bolts actually lined up from where the old one was, which was good. Um, the resistors I kept the same, just rewired them. And um, that little gray wire is the temperature sensor. Okay, here's the other end of that uh, gray wire, which goes right to my negative lug here. And that's the temperature sensor for um, the temp of the batteries. Alright. Okay, and uh, these 
are the three breakers. Um, the one all the way to the left, that's going right to the, uh, the resistors. Uh, the second is uh, the battery going um, into the charger controller. And the other one is going out um, from the rectifier. Actually, I'm, I don't know which one's which yet, but uh, one's coming from the rectifier into the batteries. The other one is coming out of the batteries into the, the diversion controller. And that's how that works. And then over here is the uh, solar for the uh, Outback. Alright, so um, I found one very interesting thing out. Uh, while hooking these 12 volt fans up, um, which I hooked right into the 12 volt uh, uh, and auxiliary uh, input there, and I have all three of them hooked up, and I turned it on, and it started up, and then it died down. So I started disconnecting fans, and uh, it did the same thing with two fans because I have a total of three. I went from two fans, did the same thing, and now I'm just running the one fan. So I'm guessing that's too much of a load draw on that particular thing. If anybody has a workaround on that, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'd like to get all three fans going, but um, right now I have the one. Alright, uh, let me get the cover on and show you what it looks like um, with the face on. Thanks. Alrighty, the cover is on and I'm ready to go. Um, that's my project in a nutshell. Um, I got my new wire going there. there. That's just going from the breaker box to the uh, resistors, um, the one gray wire is for the fan, and the other one's the temperature sensor, and this ground I piggybacked off of here for the charge controller in there. Um, the only thing I don't like about this meter so far is it does, doesn't have a light. Um, and it's really dark in this closet. And I guess I'm just going to have to use a flashlight to see it, because it has no light on it. But, if it does if it does the trick and it works, that's all I really care about, really. But, just thought I'd point that out. I don't know if you can hear that uh, fan going, but I'm going to turn it off right now. that that's off now and this is on so that will keep the resistors cool um, but I like to get all three of them going so if anybody knows any information on how I could operate all three off of this outback that'd be great Actually, I'm going to turn it off right now. Off. And of course, you can set your uh, set points for it to come on. Um, I'll probably set it for like 30 volts or around, around 30 volts. Because that's when you, you the resistors start to kick on. So, I'll set it to auto, and if it gets to 30 volts, kicks on, or something, something like that. I think, I kind of, I kind of briefly read the manual, but, I don't know. If anybody knows a little bit more than me on that one, let me know. Uh, we're going to exit out of there. And, um, uh, 
Yeah. Looks good. Um, just want to see what I. Just want to see what I made today. As far as uh. System off. I just um, uh, I guess six point four. Um, Uh, today no. uh, for some reason I don't have today's on here that's weird I had this I shut that system down so I don't know. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, I took Kenny's uh, last video, and I did all the dip switches the same way. So um, it will start diverting uh, around 30 volts, I think. And um, yeah, that's about it. Alrighty, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll do more updates later. Okay, bye now.